In this video, I'm going to show you how to bind BitUnix to the Google Authenticator mobile app. This video is a segment from my BitUnix step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. So if anybody's interested in learning more about BitUnix, I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Let's get into the video. It's always a good idea to add an extra layer of security to your account, such as Google Authenticator. You'll also need to get this done if you want to withdraw assets off of the BitUnix platform. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate by using the Google Authenticator mobile app. Now, if you don't already have this app, it is a free download and you can get it right here on the Apple App Store and you can also get it here on the Google Play Store. So simply install this app to your phone. Once you've done that, we're going to come right up here to our profile icon and we're going to click right here on security. And you might even be getting this little pop up here saying enable Google Authenticator. And that's exactly what we're up to right now. So we can click right here on setup, but if you're not getting that pop-up, you'll find Google Authenticator right here up at the top. We just come over here on the right hand side and click on settings. As I mentioned before, you can get the Google Authenticator app from Google Play as well as the Apple App Store. And if you hover your mouse over either one of those, you'll get a QR code that pops up that you can scan with your phone. Now right down here, you'll find a QR code that you can scan with the Google Authenticator app, but you'll also see a key code next to that QR code. Now make sure to write that key code down. You can use that key code in the future to recover your account if your phone ever gets lost, stolen, or broken. Just don't let anyone else get their hand on that key code. So quickly take a second and write your key code down. Once you write your key code down, open up the Google Authenticator app on your mobile device. Inside the Google Authenticator app, bottom right hand side, you'll see a little plus sign, tap on that. Then you'll see two options, scan a QR code or enter a setup key. The easiest way is to scan a QR code, so we'll tap on that. Then simply hold your phone up to your screen and scan your QR code. And that's going to bind BitUnix to Google Authenticator. Now, for whatever reason, if you can't scan a QR code, you just tap on enter a setup key. Then you give your account a name, so call it BitUnix, and then manually type in that key code that you can see beside your QR code. Once you've done that, you tap on add, and you'll have bound BitUnix to Google Authenticator. Then we need to come down here and enter and verify the Google verification code that's found inside your Google Authenticator app. It's that six digit number next to the BitUnix account that you added to Google Authenticator. So simply type that in, then click on submit. Then the next step is to send a security verification code to the email that you used when creating your BitUnix account. To get that code, simply click right here on get code. Once that email arrives in your email account, Retrieve your six digit code, type it into this box here, then click on submit. Then you're all set. You'll have bound BitUnix to Google Authenticator. And there you have it. That's how you can bind BitUnix to the Google Authenticator mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my other BitUnix tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day. Thank you.